I had been helping my sister, Sandy get ready for a special event, and taking pictures was a crucial part of our preparations. Sandy looked adorable in her ladybug outfit, even though she still appeared a bit awkward. It was frustrating because the hypnosis tapes had worked perfectly, except for the one about posture. I had coached her on every aspect, from her outfit to her smile. Sandy stood there in her short dress, one of the few going almost strapless. Her smile, although somewhat shy, was heartwarming. I couldn't help but notice the cute bag she'd picked out, though her nails were neglected. I wished I could have coached her on those details, but that was considered cheating. This was my final project, and I couldn't graduate without a passing grade for Sandy. The thought of watching her face the upcoming tests without being able to help was daunting. I had spent months helping her slim down and perfect her appearance, but her awkwardness still persisted. It felt unfair that everyone else had transformed athletic boys into ditzy girls, while I had to work with someone majoring in video gaming. Hypnosis and exercise had turned her into a slim figure, but that awkward shyness refused to budge. As I pointed out John checking out Sandy's butt, I couldn't help but think back to Sandy's first Halloween dance, when I had practically pushed her into Mikey's arms. Sandy giggled at the memory, and it was a fun night indeed. I remembered how we got lost and had to navigate a slippery log bridge in our heels. Those were the adventures that made it all worthwhile. Sandy's origins as a boy were a secret that only I knew, and she had truly embraced her new identity. It was hard for me to believe that Sandy had once been a boy, given how naturally she had adapted to her new self. That first Halloween dance was a whirlwind of fun and excitement, and we both looked back on it fondly. Even though Mikey had to leave so suddenly, the memories of that night still brought a smile to Sandy's face. As we continued taking pictures, I couldn't help but think about how far Sandy had come since that Halloween dance. She had truly embraced her identity as a girl, and the progress she had made was impressive. I was proud of her, even though there were moments of frustration and awkwardness along the way. The dance was fast approaching, and I was determined to ensure that Sandy would shine. I had drilled her on walking in heels and practiced with her extensively, but the thought of her having to navigate a slippery sidewalk in those heels made my heart race. Hey, check it out, Sandy, I exclaimed, pointing towards John. He's in a tank top, and I swear he's totally checking out your butt. My teasing remark brought a playful grin to Sandy's face, and for a moment, her shyness seemed to fade away. It was moments like these that made all the hard work worth it. I knew that this dance would be a memorable night for both of us, and I couldn't wait to see Sandy confidently step onto that dance floor, knowing that she had truly become the girl she was meant to be.